everyone. Welcome to Kung Fu Pod. Kung Fu means hard work, and that's what we're going to do today. My name is Sifu Mimi Chan. And I'm Sifu Oscar. Thanks so much for joining us. One of the things that we've been talking about lately are stances and how important that practice is to our Kung Fu and Tai Chi training. And I think maybe we can spend a little time about the feet because you and I were discussing how we think about our posture and our stance and our leg strength and our positioning, but sometimes we don't actually get really specific into what we mean when we describe rooting. We talk about uh, you know, the tree branches. I like to visualize that roots are coming out from the bottom of my feet and just like grounding me, but I know there are some really cool practices that you have that have helped you kind of be a better rooter, have you? <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, anyone in martial arts is familiar with the concept of rooting, here are a couple of ways that you can maybe bring a, even a little bit more awareness to it. So if you're about to start your practice, and we do this in Tai Chi class a lot because it's a little bit more gentle, we just start shifting our weight, our, our weight side to side and becoming aware of the bottoms of our feet. So you're bringing your mind, your brain, and attention to the bottoms of your feet by getting that weight shift. And once you're shifting your weight side to side, you can try to find the center of your feet, right? So another way you can think about finding the center of your feet is you think about the knuckle uh, right under your big toe, the knuckle under your pinky toe and your heel, and that's that tripod foot, three points of contact. And in those three points of contact, there's gonna be a center. So that is where I want most of my weight distributed, but it is beneficial sometimes to focus, I'm gonna shift my weight to my heel, let me shift my weight to the front two points of contact to one point, and all of this is bringing awareness to the bottoms of the feet to then go into your visualization, which is that rooting, which I love as well, which is you know sprouting into the ground. You can get almost as graphic as you want with that visualization to help. So that's a couple of ways that you can start bringing awareness to the bottom of the feet, but you also want to have strength in the feet. And there are some, some skills uh, that you can do of intrinsic foot strengthening, which is- It's fancy. Call, it's, it's a fancy term uh, that comes from the FRC principles from, from Dr. Andrew Ospina, but we have um, another fancy term, which is toe yoga as well, right? Mm -hmm. So by being able to find your center, right? Find where, where, where you're feeling the strongest, and then being able to just pick up your big toes on their own, pick up the small four toes on their own, alternate, trying to piano, like I'm gonna keep the big toe and pinky toe on the ground and pick up the middle three toes. Being able to have that ab toe ability mm -hmm. will actually be a great barometer of if your feet are strong. Yeah. And also awareness of your feet, which then translates to your point, which is that you're bringing awareness to the bottom of the feet and being able to root. So just some options for you to bring more awareness to your feet, which will then hopefully translate which into your stances, which is the foundation of our Kung Fu, and then translate to better Kung Fu, Tai Chi, whatever your martial arts journey is bringing you. Yeah, and even in the Kung Fu practice, I mean, also in Chen Tai Chi, we have a lot of things where we're stomping, yeah. engaging into the grounds, like our basic horse stance is Hoi Ma, which is open your stance, and it's, you know, kind of feeling the ground, that impact. Uh, a lot of people think it's just like we're stomping, like we're, we're tap dancing just for, for fun, but there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, not just the conditioning of the, the, the feet, but like you said, even bringing awareness, I bringing think, awareness. is part of it. Yeah. There's a term, uh, we, we sometimes overuse it in Kung Fu, uh, bumbo, which is this stomping as you're moving forward, right? But if you think about it, it actually makes perfect sense that you stomp, you, pay, you light up the bottoms of the feet, you're able to root, project force, and then project force out. So it makes perfect sense when we do what we call our open, our hoi ma, to stomp, boom, boom, open up, to stomp as sometimes when we make it into a transition. And as you know, we're, I'm a big uh, fan of, of kettlebell work and the strong first principles. And one of the first things that we learned when we're doing something like about to do a heavy press or a deadlift is we stomp, light up the bottoms of the feet, make sure that we're rooted. And so those traditions from Chinese martial arts have, have moved to in the strength training as well. Awesome. Just don't over bumbo. You know who you are, you over bumboers. There are some, and they should know who they are. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully this was helpful. Let us know. Leave us a comment or a message. And if you're interested, actually, in working with Sifu Oscar or myself, we do remote coaching. So you can always send us a message or an email. Information is below. We'd love to work with you guys. Right. Every month we take on a handful of clients, depending on our availability. These, uh, 
training sessions are really catered towards your specific goals where we can kind of get down into the nitty gritty of what you want to accomplish. All right. Until next time, thanks for joining us on Kung Fu Pod. Remember, Kung Fu means hard work. And so every day we're working hard and playing hard. All right. Thanks so much for joining us.